Lesson 4, Unit 6. Evaluating results. Results-based evaluation is the assessment of the project intervention in order to determine its relevance, efficiency, effectiveness, impact, and especially its sustainability. The purpose is to provide credible and useful information that can be used in the decision-making process of key stakeholders and the use of lessons learned that can be incorporated in the next cycle or in the development strategy. Evaluation seeks to know if the progress toward the impact is caused by the project or if there is some other explanation for the changes identified during the monitoring phase. The goal of evaluation is to find evidence of why results are or are not being achieved. It seeks to address issues of causality, that is to determine if the results change logic is sound or if it needs changes. Evaluation seeks to answer the following questions. Are the targets and outcomes relevant? How effectively and efficiently are they being achieved? What unanticipated effects have been caused? And is the intervention cost effective and sustainable? Answering these questions can help determine the changes that are needed in the project to improve the intervention and the achievement of results. Traditional evaluation is focused on compliance. It seeks to know if the project used efficiently the inputs to deliver the expected outputs. This assumes that a successful implementation is equivalent to actual improvements in the condition of the beneficiaries. Results-based evaluation increases its scope to evaluate actual results. It seeks to know if the implementation of the project is producing or has produced the intended results. Results-based evaluation focuses on assessing whether and how results are being achieved over time. The evaluation also allows the project to identify and make adjustments to the project plans, the results change, and implementation process. This is the flexibility the RBM incorporates in the design of the project. In general, an evaluation has three basic functions. Identify the opportunities to improve the intervention. Show accountability to stakeholders for the results and gives learning opportunities to the project, the organization, and even stakeholders. Most of the evaluations are done by outside experts. RPM evaluations have a specific focus on evaluating outcomes and impacts. Evaluation is a management tool for achieving better results. Evaluation provides decision makers with evidence and objective information about performance and good practices that can help them improve the intervention. Evaluation allows managers to make informed decisions and plan strategically. The ability of organizations to carry out credible evaluations and use them to make informed decisions is critical when managing for results with a goal of improvement development effectiveness. The focus is on what works, why, and in what context. Decision makers use evaluations to make necessary improvements, adjustments to the implementation approach or strategies, and to decide on alternatives. Objective and independent evaluations help the project be held accountable to its stakeholders, which includes donors, governments, national partners, the general public, and beneficiaries. An effective accountability framework requires credible and objective information that only an evaluation can deliver. Evaluations build knowledge for institutional learning, policy making, development effectiveness, and organizational effectiveness. Evaluations are not even but part of an ongoing exercise in which different stakeholders participate in the continuous process of generating and applying knowledge from the evaluation. An evaluation framework that generates knowledge promotes learning, and guides action is an important means of capacity development and sustainability of results. In RBM, there are usually three types of evaluations. The midterm evaluations, also known as formative evaluations, the final or summative evaluations, and the export or impact evaluations. Formative evaluations occur during the life of the project, 
They provide feedback to guide the project and make the necessary corrections. Formative evaluations provide early warning signs that can help correct the direction of the project, helps develop a better understanding of the process of change, and finding out what works, what doesn't, and why. Formative evaluations will focus mainly on the processes the project uses to achieve the expected results. The evaluation will look at the efficiencies in the process of inputs, activities, and outputs. At the time the formative evaluations are made, the project might not have realized outcomes to be evaluated, but the evaluations will test the validity of the initial project assumptions. The summative evaluation occurs at the end of the implementation. It is a means to find out if the project has reached its goal. It helps quantify the changes that can be attributed to the project and provides guidance for the planning of similar new projects. Summative evaluations will focus on results and the effectiveness of the project to deliver the intended benefits. These evaluations use the information from the formative evaluations and information from the monitoring system. Impact evaluations occur long after the completion of the project. Its purpose is to provide information on the impact of the project and its contribution to the final goal. Impact evaluations seek to answer the cause and effect relationship question. What is the impact of the project? What changes in outcomes can be attributed to the project? Are there any unplanned or unintended changes? These are the type of questions an impact evaluation will seek to answer. When evaluating programs and projects, it is suggested to consider the following criteria. Impact. How and to which degree does the project contribute to the solution of the problem? Relevance. Does the initiative make sense in terms of the condition, needs, or problems to which it is intended to respond? Effectiveness. What progress is being made toward the achievement of results? Efficiency. Have resources been used in the best possible way? And sustainability. Will the results and benefits continue after the project has ended? These are the principles for evaluation of development assistance. Evaluation has a significant role in result-based project management. It provides valuable information that the project, the organization, donors, and key stakeholders will need to make decisions. An evaluation is a management tool that provides information to improve the achievement of results. An evaluation is also a quality assurance tool of the RPM process that evaluates the relevance and timeliness of the results, especially during a midterm evaluation. Additionally, an evaluation identifies significant accomplishments, will offer recommendations for improvements, and will provide lessons that can be incorporated back into the project or use in the design of future projects.